Welcome to Xbox Media Center Tutorial 2. I've just pressed pause, which is the A button. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press start, which is on the left hand side. And you'll notice that you've got the same menu as you had on the music menu, but you also have got an additional menu. You don't have to do that, you can just kind of go over to the left. Um, and that says DVD. And that will get you to a special place wherever you want to be. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, that will get you back to the menu, the main menu of the, um, of the DVD. So, you know, as you're playing through or whatever, if you want to just go back to the menu and do a scene selection or you want to do special features or something like that, you can by going here. And it will take you back. Or it should. If it's not pause. There we go. It was on pause still. And from here you can go ahead and go to resume. And, and that's enough of that. There you go. That's beautiful. So let's go back to the DVD menu. Just a little a little mess. Now you don't have to go back to that. You can also resume again. And if you just want to go back to the main menu, you'd press B. Okay. You can also play. You can also play the same area. Um, once you go back to the main menu, though, you can't resume. Um, so it's going to just start back up. No more but if you want to, you can also push the volume down by pressing this down, and then I'll do that. Um, on the remote, you've got three buttons, and I'll show you what those are later um, if you bought the remote. So, um, what we can do real quickly is we can uh, notice this is a Korean, um, Korean DVD. The reason why I use this is just to show you that your um, DVD player on the Xbox is region free. So, you can buy you know, an English one, a British one, you can, uh, you can outsource to other, uh, other areas via the internet and look for um, any kind of region, it's okay, it plays on the Xbox. Um, the last thing I was going to show you is if you press X, you'll notice that it goes back to the main menu and in the background you can still see the movies playing. So you can, you know, you can play with settings or whatever and in the left hand corner you'll see the movie is still playing. You also notice on the right hand side here is your play button and that will play your DVD just automatically. <clears throat> okay, pressing B again to go back. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is CD, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a CD. I'm going to stop this quickly while I grab one. What I'm doing now is I'm taking a disc and this is DJ Verdeen, probably one of the better hip-hop albums from the late 90s. Actually, this guy's great. I'm going to go ahead and burn this disc to your drive. So I'm going to put it in the, put it in the drive. Um, very quickly, let's see if I can do this real quick. That's not your Xbox. Your Xbox is right there. You'll notice the disc drive is open. I put it in like this. This is your eject button. button. This is your power button. So you'll press this when you after you plug it in, and then I'll turn it on. You'll notice once it initializes the drive, I've set it up so it won't automatically play. I can't stand that. You can, like I said, do uh, go through the settings and um, do that. But notice now that there's a play button on the right-hand side. I'll highlight that with the controller. Everything I'm doing with the controller, I actually use this button right here. But you can use this. To, uh, you can't use this. You can only use this button, by the way. So you'll notice that I'm using this to go back and forth through the menu settings. So I'm going to go there and you'll see the yellow on the right hand corner, the yellow flashing line. That's the CD. And if you want to just play the CD, it's going to fetch that information from the internet. You won't have this feature, obviously. But um, you can do that. You can also um, go press X and you can look at that. And hold on a second. While we're doing that, let's press X again. Well, let's go press start to get out of the menu. Press X again, and we'll just have this. We'll see if we can get some information just because I want to try this. I've got a music. And we'll do this. And we've got a couple different options here. Notice I pressed the white button, and I got to this little menu right here. <clears throat> let's do that again real quick. 
So I've highlighted where the compact disc is playing. You can see that's the old drive picture. I've highlighted it and pressed Y, or a white, white, I'm sorry, the white button. Play disc, eject, etc. Scan item to library. Rip audio CD. So we're going to rip this off. I can't rip while playing. Okay. So we're going to do this first. And we're going to press start. You'll notice the mini on the left hand side. See this? On the left hand side, there's a mini menu. And that's for just for the main uh, Xbox Media Center menu. So you can either fast forward to the next song or play and press stop. Let's go back to music. The compact disc, press white. Rip audio CD. So we're going to rip that CD. And I'm not sure what it's ripping to. I hope it's FLAC. If it's not, then I'm going to change it. I think you can change it to FLAC. FLAC is the highest fidelity. It's actually what they call lossless. It is FLAC. Good. Lossless means that there is no loss in audio quality. Just name the file. That's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go to the file manager. Notice where this is. The file manager is down here. And how I do this is I just go down. By the way, I'm just clicking down, down, down. I'm going to do this. Clicking down, 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 over, over. Just in case you didn't need to know, you know, you need to know that. You can go, also go back up. And if you press over without the down, 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 um, it'll go straight to this this file or these over here, and you'll figure that out as you go through it. It's a little it was a little bit cumbersome for me at first, but once I figured it out, we go to File Manager, press A, and now you'll notice we don't need to go to the DVD drive because we've already copied everything from the DVD drive over. So now what we need to do, whoops, now what we need to do is we've got two file systems. This is your left hand side. This is where you're going to be copying from. You can do it on either side. It's the same hard drive, okay? What this allows you to do is move files and copy files over. Now, I'm not sure where that copied, but my guess is F. We'll go to music and see if that's true. Nope. You'll notice that F has a music place and G has a music place. However, F has only got 20 gigabytes left. G has got 80 gigabytes left, which is not a lot, by the way. Um, we're going to go to music down here. Maybe it's in here. There it is. You'll see it on the bottom here. USSR, Life from the Other Side. That's the name of this album. Now, let's say I just wanted to say this is DJ, DJ Vadim, USSR. What I would do is I'd press the white button. Then I would go to Rename. From there, I could switch. And I'm actually going to change it to DJ Vadim. The reason why this is shortened is because the Xbox file system only does 42 letters, letter combinations, spaces, any kind of any kind of symbol or space is considered a, a letter or a character, and so it only allows for 42. What we're going to do is we're going to press Shift. Actually, I'm going to do Cap Lock because the next few letters are going to be this. So D, J, space and then go back, or I'm sorry, V, and then cap lock off, A, D, I, N. Once you're done, you have two options. You can either press start or done. I'm just gonna press start, but you'll see over here there's done. You could do that if you don't feel comfortable with that or whatever. I'm just gonna press start, and now it's changed. And notice that it's moved up to the top. Now this is in G. Let's say I wanted to put this in F. I'm going to press over to the left, or right, I'm sorry, and you'll notice it highlighted the right side now. I'm going to choose the F drive. Notice on the left-hand side, you've got G music. So we're going to go to F music on here, F music. We're going to go back to the left. We're going to choose DJ Badim, life from the other side. We're going to press the white button. <clears throat> and we're going to press move. It's going to say move these files. You're going to say yes.